Welcome back to Learn Music Videos, guys. Today we're gonna talk about demo reels, the importance of them for your career and your work, and I'll give you three tips on how to make the best demo reel possible. So first I wanna talk about the importance of a demo reel and kind of give you a little context and story into my own experience and how it I broke into the industry through my demo reels and the work I was doing with demo reels because it's it's very, very important and a lot of times overlooked. I actually have a mentorship program and one of the first things I tell people to do is put a demo reel together if they don't already have one. And the first question I ask is how many of you have a demo reel and usually nine out of the 10 people say they don't have a demo reel, which kind of blows my mind because that was one of the very first things I did early on. And actually something I was, you know, taught uh, in film school to do, not necessarily taught to do, but we, it was an assignment was to build a demo reel. And so early on, I was taking free music videos all the time because I myself wanted to put together a reel because I just I just realized people weren't going to hire me or book me if I didn't have a breadth of work uh, or a catalog of work to show like, hey, I can do a good video. I can make your video. So I was always shooting music videos for Kyle, uh, KID at the time, Futuristic, Sam King, and all these also local Arizona artists. And I would put together a reel of all these music videos. And daily I would get on Facebook, uh, which was really popular at the time. And just email and Facebook message as many artists that I wanted to work with as possible. I would send them my reel and be like, hey, I'm Jacob Owens, love your music. I'm a director, here's my reel. Uh, let me know if you'd like to work together. And I would just pitch myself. And that's how I landed kind of my first big, uh, for me, music artist at the time. Uh, it was DY, uh, my friend David Morris now. But at the time he was getting, shooting with uh, Mac Miller's video director. And he was shooting, um, you know, a lot of music videos with him, um, this guy Rex Arrow. And he, you know, ended up seeing my reel that I reached out to him with. And he came to Arizona where I lived. We shot a music video, it was called We Don't Know. Uh, so DY, we don't know, you can look it up on YouTube and find that. And that was the first video I shot with him. And we just instantly became friends and I started shooting all his videos from there on out. But that all happened with a reach out of my reel. There's no way I would have landed that job or shot a video for him period if I did not have a reel of all the music videos I was doing for Kyle, Futuristic and so on. So it's so important early on if you're trying to break into music videos that you put together a reel of your work that you can go and use and pitch but also if someone approaches you or you meet someone and they make a connection and they're like hey i got this guy who can shoot a video the first question that client is going to ask is where's the reel do they have a reel they can send me so um just putting a lot of importance that if you don't have a reel you should put one together and that's why we're talking about it today <laughs> 